And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Shantae, Half Genie Hero. I'm your host, Mega Shadow Fists. I stick up video games, I stick up commentary. And when we last left off, <coughs> excuse me, we were doing some things, now we're doing even more things. We have this puzzle that we wanted to solve. Uh, yeah. I think I might have done a poopy. I mean, if I do like that. No, let's just let's just start over. Okay, let's go this way. And then go in. There we go. We want this one first. Preferably if we were I was about to call this a tortoise. Preferably if we were What do you call it? Um a, a, a not a snake, but a uh what do you call it? A, um, um, an elephant. Yeah, that's the word. I don't know why I forgot the word elephant, but it's just one of those things. Somehow, like, I just forget words. Like, it's just one of those things. I wish that I were better at this thing, at this whole word thing, but unfortunately, I am about as literate as a... a a masseuse? Now actually we're gonna need to start over because I blocked that off. Okay, let's try this again. But yeah, like for some reason, like I don't know why I randomly forgot the forgot how to say elephant. Well, it's always it's always just like those random words. It's always like actually I remember watching um what do you call it? Wait a minute. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that... So now I've really... Now I've actually figured out what we need to do. Okay, this is what we need to do. So, elephant. We need to have this one first. Then the, th then the one on the far right. Then the middle one. Then the other one. Then we can actually, like, traverse through everything. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, there was a video by Lang Focus, actually. They were talking about, um, just, like, language. Like, people who, like, polyglot. Polyglotism? Polyglotism, that's not a word. But, like, people who, like, speak a bunch of different languages, and they were talking about, um, like, reacquainting yourself with the language of choice. Or reacquainting yourself with, like, a language. Like, you know, there are the people who say that they speak, like, 15 languages or something like that. Really, when they say that, though, it means that they like they have gotten to a form of fluency with all those languages, but there's probably only like two or three that they can actually like speak like fluently on the fly, like you know, without any prep work. The other ones they could get back to a level of fluency after having um, reacquainted themselves with the language. And usually, though, when it comes to like foreign languages and trying to reacquaint yourself with the foreign language, usually the words that you forget are actually the simple ones, like door, or something like that. Yeah, it's, you, you barely ever forget how to say, like, new mono, ultra microscopic silico volcanoconiosis, or something of that sort, right? Um, but, you know, door, you forget how to say that. Why? Because, I don't know. Don't ask me, I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. Where am I? Oh. That'd be funny if I actually did become a scientist and then I watched this, you know, 7,000 years in the future because I'm definitely going to live to be that long. Yeah, I mean, you, you never know, you know, once once we, once we, I get old and they have those, you know, robot cyborg things and I can live to be, like, a trillion years old, then, you know, I'll be the one laughing. Except I probably won't because I'll be a trillion years old, so, you know. if you, I imagine if you lived for that long, you'd probably just, like, you'd have nothing to laugh about anymore because you've been living for a trillion years. That does not sound really fun in the slightest. But, you know, live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Let's see what we got here. Okay, they made me do all this. There better be something useful in here. Otherwise, I'm not going to be particularly happy. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Is it the truth, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see what we got here. A gallery key. Yay. That's usually what it is. It's, it was for a gallery key, not not a uh, 
Oops. I mean, like, it's cool to be able to see the concept art, but I'm probably not going to show that off in this series. That's well, probably something that I do on my own time, i.e. never, because usually what happens... Well, I mean, I talked about this before. Usually it takes about... After I do a series, it usually takes me about two years to get back to the game. A year, About a year or two to get back to the game, if I say that I want to get back to it. That's been my track record so far. But I do. Get it, but usually, when I say that I'm gonna, you know, get back to this game, I usually do get back to it. It's just that, you know, I don't do it immediately. So actually, speaking of which, it's been about a year since uh, Shantae and the Pirates cursed. So I should actually, because I said that I wanted to get those last remaining Tinker Bass to get that 100%, which I never actually did. So I want to. I said I said I wanted to get back to it, but I haven't done that quite yet. So, oops. Okay, so, aside from that, what else is here? Oop! That was unfortunate. What was I talking about? The code switching and forgetting words, how to forgetting how to say the word elephant for one reason or another, but aside from that... Actually, I guess that could be a random question. What was... The, like... If there has ever been a time where, like, you were, like, in, you were having, like, something very important happening, I don't know, whether it was, like, an interview for a job, or what have you, and you, you randomly forgot, like, a, like, like, you forgot a word at the most pivotal moments. Has that ever happened before? I don't know, has that ever happened to me? Okay. There we go, there we go. I mean, we've already gone up here, but I'm just just want to make sure that I'm not like missing anything. Oh, we actually could use a monkey up for this part, uh, but I don't think there's anything here. Okay, let's go down here. Interesting, like when you're when you're dropping down, right? Like, um, hmm. When you're dropping down, it seems like um. Like, when you transform mid-air, like, you sort of just... Whoa, I forgot those things, like... That was a bit of an early reaction, but I... Like, you sort of, like, stop in the mid-air. It's interesting. Like, it's kind of like... I wonder, actually, if you can use that as a way to, like, double jump or something. Hmm. Who knows. We've actually spent quite a bit of time looking for these... Souls, but it seems like we actually need to do this for, like, the actual, uh, story, so... Oh, there's a little watchman I think we can access that as a uh, spider Shante. I have no idea how I managed to like avoid getting hit by all those things, but you know, I'm not gonna question it. Okay. Let's drop down here. Let's see what's here. We got a gallery key! Yay! Uh, maybe I might actually have to show that off in this series. <laughs> I wasn't really planning on doing it, but I might as well since like 8 trillion of these. Spider, spider mode again. Let's drop down here. Go into monkey mode. But like, were the all the souls specifically in the? I jumped way too early. Were all the souls specifically just in the? Um, were they just in the tower? Does this count as part of the? T I mean, I know they're in the tower, but does this count as part of the tower? I mean, we're technically outside, but you know, maybe this does count as the tower still. I don't know. I'm I'm not a I'm not an architect. That doesn't I mean you don't have to be an architect to know that, you know, what a tower is and what does and doesn't qualify as a tower. Yes, I know. Technically, that's true. But, you know Honestly I don't know where I was going with this. But um let's see here. Wait for that okay. I honestly what I should have done is just like gone straight like I should have just gone like straight like berserk. Not to be confused with, like, the anime slash manga berserk, um, but, like, I should have gone, like... Have you guys actually- actually, I saw, like, um, they have, like, a new berserk game coming out-ish. Um, I probably won't be playing it, because I don't have anything to play it on, but, um, it seemed interesting-ish, like, oh, I don't know, I, I, I'm the type of person, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I'm the type of person who, like, if I'd be willing to buy a game that might not necessarily have, like, the best gameplay if I like the art style, or, like, if I really like the OST or something, that's happened before, 
I think. Has it happened before? I, I mean, like, maybe this is one of those moments where I say I'd be willing to do that, but I'm, I actually wouldn't be willing to do that. Is that one of those, is this one of those cases? Mm. I'm sure there are. There's gotta be something. Okay. Momentum must always be conserved. Gotta remember that. Especially, like, in modern games where you actually have, like, actual physics engines, as opposed to, like, older video games where, like, you know, you didn't quite have that. You know, actually, one thing I find interesting, like, going back to old video games, so, like, nowadays, like, they try, like, in most video games with, like, voice over dubs, like, they try to, like, make sound skill, so, like, the farther away you get from, like, a person, you know, uh, like, from a character, like, the quieter they get, but... It seems like, I go back to, like, some older video games, and that wasn't always the case, it seems. Like, there are, like, games where, like, you could be, like, a thousand feet away from somebody, and you'd still be able to hear them. Of course, it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but, you know, you, you get my point. Like, well, actually, nowadays, um, usually, um, <laughs> like, in most modern video games, all you have to do is turn away from somebody, you won't be able to hear them, which, that's... I'm not exactly I'm not exactly an audio engineer, but I would say probably from my experience is usually because voiceover work is done. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but voiceover work is actually recorded in mono audio because um, there's like I, I which might seem kind of odd, like kind of backwards to some people because it's like oh wow it's 2017 what's the point in recording in stereo audio because you know we don't do that anymore mono's for like old people but actually. The, the reason why is because there's actually no point. The thing about stereo versus audio, like, stereo doesn't make, isn't, like, inherently better than mono. What stereo, the, the advantage that stereo has over mono is that it allows you to tell direction. So, like, um, for, like, a band or something, like, if you're, like, you're listening to, like, an audio recording, like, like, really? If you're listening to, like, an audio recording of, like, a band, for example, um, See what we got here. Another heart holder. Yay. Okay. I mean, actually, yay! Like, I got my uh, health back. Um. So, like, if, um. So, if you're listening to, like, a. If you're listening to a band, Ret to Go, if you're listening to a band, for example, um, being able to, like, have, like, like, the instruments sound they're coming from different directions, being able to tell their direction gives it, like, more, like, of a live feel, like, you know, more closer to reality. But, like, when it comes to voiceover work, you only have one voice, and it's only coming from one direction, so recording in stereo doesn't do anything for you. Um, it doesn't make your voice magically better or anything, like, it doesn't really do anything, it's completely pointless to record. And, um stereo so you're recording audio so because i think it's because of that that you know like since you know mono doesn't give you the ability to tell direction my it's my theory that that's why you know when you're playing modern video games and you turn around like you're talking to somebody and you, all you do is turn around for them and you can't hear them anymore it's because the voice audio wasn't recorded in a way that was be that you'd be able to tell direction at least that's just my um that's just my uh whatchamacallit on this because i remember old mega when i say old young mega i mean like actually the me of like a couple months ago when i first got my blue yeti pro and i got like i hooked it up to like my audio mixer and everything i was like oh okay so you know the audio mixer it's got two xlr cables right so i can record in stereo and i was wondering like actually first of all i had this problem where like my voice just wasn't sounding very good for like like the, I, the, I thought i was suffering from the scottish plague for a second um Oh, yes. Um, but... What was I talking about again? Um... But, like, I was, I was trying to figure out... I was trying to, like, you know, this is, like, me, like, with not super a whole lot of knowledge on audio tech, like, audio mixing and things before. Like, you know, I'm just used to, like, you know, what I use, like, like my blue snowball, right? Like, which is what I'm using right now to record, you know, this, because, you know... I talked about this before in BA11, it just, I just prefer to record my blue snowball because it, on one hand it doesn't, on one hand it makes it easier to, on one hand, like, if I were to record with, like, my blue, my, my blue Yeti Pro and my, uh, Behringer, I use a Behringer Zenix at Q802 USB mixer, 
uh, for those of you who are curious about that. If I already used that, it kind of dates all of my older videos. I don't like dating videos. Like, like I said, I take pride in the fact that you can... Oh, this is a shop lady. Here's some new... Let's dill. Um... Hmm. Obliterate. It will heavy damage to every opponent nearby. Revive Dance. Dance to Warp. Oh, I actually could use a Warp Dance. Okay, and Revive Dance. Refill some health in exchange for magic. Super Revive. I don't have enough money for that. See you later. Oh, there's a third one! That's interesting. Ooh, we got full restoration. Um. I just, like, I had no experience with, like, mixing, like, you know, using an audio mixer, so I, I had, it took some trial and error, and after, like, poking around on the internet, um, I found out that you, um, you don't actually have to record in stereo, because there's no point, because there, you only have one voice, and I just, like, I just plugged in one XLR cable and recorded in mono, and that actually made it a lot easier, because one of the problems that I had was that, you know, a stereo, like, my voice came out so loud that it was just, like, it was like, it was kind of like this a little bit, actually. Like, I was, like, talking really close to the microphone. And, yeah, that fixed it. Well, that was one of the things. I also had to mix it. I also, I also had to, um, for me, I had to boost my, I had to boost my lows and, um, okay. I had to boost my lows and lower my high and mediums, high and mid-range, and that actually caused it to get good. But anyway, I'm going on a really big tangent here. Um... Let's see here. So you actually, back back on this game, so the warp dance, for some reason, it I didn't quite think that it would be like an actual dance. Don't ask me why. Like I was thinking what I don't know what I was thinking when I first saw that, but you know, when I when I went and bought it, I realized, hey, this is like a dance like, you know, everything else. I don't know. I'm actually, let's use uh Oh, we have, like, no health, actually. I mean, like, not no health. We have, like, no magic, so... Okay. Mid-post. Okay, well, we want to go to this one, actually. And then I think we can actually just... Oh, I just barely made that one. Okay. Right here. Yeah, um, I... I, I don't know if you know this, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't think I got any, um... I don't think I got a single soul aside from that original one. Let's use. Well, actually, I kind of want to save. World clear. Hmm. Where did I get? Where did I start that idea though? From like the like the recording in mono and um. I don't know where I started that idea from. Okay, well, we're actually going to need because like. Hmm. Now let's let's actually let's go to the bathhouse first and talk to the. Who are you? Pooh, they're completely out of leeches. Oh, hello. What's the reason for seeing seeing me today? Are you allergic to any medications? Do you have a history of stomach problems? Happen to know the date of your last physical exam? Well, if you ever need a checkup, just come see me. I don't know where I made him sound like Apollo, but you know, we'll go with it. Talk to you. Would you like a hint? A stranger inside the desert tower needs your help. Want another hint? Ask again. Okay. So, basically nothing new. We need to go to the guy and get those sunken... We need to get those souls. That's all that this is about. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, I mean, that's just what we're gonna have to do. <laughs> so. Would you like to lift off? Yes, please. Climb aboard. So, it seems like basically... I mean, like... Well, I was like, oh, well, the next recording session is going to be the final recording session, pretty much no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't think we are going to be spending uh, the entire episode basically... Uh... Oh, we got basically everything in here, though, in Tasseltown. Like, looking for these stupid souls in this tower. It's evil. Except not really, it doesn't really bother me that much. <laughs> but, I don't know. Anywho, later, Holzen. I'll see you guys in the next episode.